Hey there, my name is Henry Sierra. I'm a filmmaker that makes movies based on creatives, creative brands, and the ins and outs of those businesses. This is my New York City room tour. Now, I will say that there is a lot to go through in this video, so if you want, you can go ahead and stick through because at the end, I will show you guys, well, the rooms throughout, but also tell you guys how much I paid just for this room in a four bedroom, two bathroom, Harlem, Manhattan, New York City apartment. Also, if you guys have any questions, do not be afraid to ask down in the comments below. I literally moved to New York City about two, three weeks ago at the time that this is posted. So if you guys have any questions as for the pandemic in Manhattan or New York City in general, let's talk. Starting off right outside the front door, this is a few floor walk up. As you can see, there's a stair set and it continues to go up. Okay, now that we've made it in the front door, I am here alone currently. There's a deadbolt. Now, starting off with my bedroom that you guys saw in the beginning of this video. Now, I am sorry, I do not know the exact square footage of this bedroom, but it's somewhere around 80 square feet. It's not any more than 100 for sure. For reference, this is a full-size bed. I made it just for this video because I think that making a bed is a waste of time, so you're welcome. This bedroom did come with a nightstand, a fan, and behind here, there is an AC where the window is. Now, the only thing with the window is that it does not go anywhere. It goes into a kind of alleyway that is closed off by another building. That's actually my neighbor's window right there. But then we have the AC for the hot New York City nights. Now, it does come with a hamper and a lamp. I do use the hamper for my dirty clothes. I was actually doing washing in... I was washing a load right before making this movie. I use the nice stand to place, well, right now my external hard drive as well as my phone sometimes. Now, this bedroom was pretty much fully equipped with everything that a person would need just for survival. These are all of the immediate things that I use on a daily basis. Granola bars, you need these if you live here just as a kind of tactic as a snack whenever you cannot eat lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever. You gotta love it, right? Hey, how you doing? If you notice, yes, this is a fully stacked dresser. I do have socks and underwear in this, and below here, shirts, button-up shirts, jeans, and etc. Decent sized trash can that I am gonna change out soon enough. I don't actually use these things that you can keep your shoes in. I don't even know what this is called. And then of course, right behind me, you have my closet, which is also, wait for it, my makeshift pantry that I got groceries for a few days ago that I'm going through slowly. Chips Ahoy for those sweet cravings. Anyone recognize what that is? Yeah, I've been eating a lot of ramen noodles, some pasta, brisk tea. There is totally enough room to hang my shirts. I don't have a ton of clothes, but for anyone, this is a fully stacked closet that you can totally use to your advantage. How cute is that teddy bear up there? Tripod, I used that for the beginning of this film. My suitcase that I unpacked like three days after I got here because of how busy I was once I arrived. Other than that, down there is my backpack I use on a daily basis. Some miscellaneous equipment that I don't use every single day. Quite a nice full body mirror if you ask me. Right below the bed, we have some more daily essentials. Of course, I don't wear every single one of these every day but I switched them out. I've been wearing these for the most part, as well as these, just because Manhattan and New York City in general can be hard on the feet when you just move here. Right now, socks. Anyone who lives here probably has one of those because it has been raining three out of seven days since I got here in April, but apparently April showers bring on the Mayflowers here. Okay, and that is my bedroom in a four bedroom, two bath, the New York City, Manhattan, Harlem apartment. The full walkthrough. It is the perfect size for anyone just moving here. There is a kind of downside to no sunlight in here, of course. You kind of want sunlight if you move here, but I'm here on a three month sublet, so after those three months, I can decide if I want to move somewhere else in the city or not. This area is kind of where we put our masks, our coats, and anything else that we might need on the way out. Now, in the kitchen area, we have this kitchen table that currently seats four, but I'm pretty sure you could probably fit six if you squeezed it in. Right behind that, we have a kind of gold mine luxury of New York City, which is a dryer and a washer and that load that I told you about earlier. 
My roommates are quite considerate and have been living here for about seven years, so they've kind of established their place as their home. This place, for the matter of fact. When you find roommates like that, they pretty much have everything that you might need just laid out just like that because they have people coming in and out every few months or so. And while right behind that, we have the stove, the oven, four burner stove, microwave right above that, the sink with the dinner that I just had, cabinets, plenty of storage space up here that are completely fully stocked. Knife utensils set that you can use for cooking. I specifically use some of these. Full-sized refrigerator, if Sam watches this video. Hey Sam. Then we take a left turn to the bathroom. Well, the specific bathroom that I use. Okay, now for reference, I am about 5'8", 5'9". My wingspan is not the largest, the longest. So you have another window that goes to a second wall. Then you have a mirror. This is a medicine cabinet. The shower with a see-through door. I don't even know what the actual name for that is. Shower caddy and a waterfall shower head. The sink has plenty of space. This is my hand, so you can fit enough. The only thing that is slightly awkward about this area is that you kind of have to stick your head in between these two places at once. So if you're kind of a messy person, you have a lot of drip coming down here. One of the things that blew my mind that I really won't be even using because I don't drink is a full bar. They have wine glasses, shot glasses, and a range of different alcohols. And next to the actual bar, we have the entire coffee bar that I use a lot. Both of my roommates do drink coffee, so they have a range of different syrups. I think this is a steam wand, some disposable iced and hot cups, and they do have a Nespresso machine with different pods, purified water. I actually use this to refill my water bottle every single day, and plenty of refillable gallons or five gallon jugs. Something that is also pretty convenient is the gigantic couch. This part could literally almost be a bed. Right in front of me is actually kind of a workstation makeshift for when people aren't using this area. I like to come over here and have a desk to work at and I also eat some breakfast here and whatnot. This is what I've been looking at all day with the TV right in front of me. Yes, a full uh, maybe 50 inch TV with a whole uh, whatever that's called below it that's not a nightstand so we have plenty of seating arrangements here this is when you turn around what the entire place looks like this is a wide angle lens but i promise you this space is quite large this is probably what it looks more like to the human eye now this space here i don't typically mess with there's not much here that i would normally use besides some pans for eggs, chicken, I do that a lot. This is also where we keep silverware. Things like so are all up in here, including some bags, Ziploc. Now coming down the coffee bar, there is this hallway. In this hallway, we have a, well, two closets, both of which are indeed completely full. This one is more of bags and coats. And this one here is much more of napkins, paper towels, toilet paper, stuff like that. Some uh, screwdrivers, just household essentials that you might need to fix things or replenish equipment. House equipment, that doesn't make any sense. Now this is one of my roommate's rooms. Down here right after the coffee bar is my other roommate's room. Giving them privacy for their own areas, I will not show you that, but this is a secondary bathroom. Very similar layout to the previous bathroom. In here is my two roommates' probably favorite area of the space, which is their makeshift workout room and a desk that they can work off of. Now, if you could think about the size of my personal bedroom, this is just smaller. Not too much, but just a bit smaller. Some weights, an entire workout mattress pad. That's not a mattress, that is a workout pad mat. Now, if you are in New York City, this is blown out, but you will probably have a fire escape 
Huge mirror, maybe about the same size as the one in my room. Full body, no problem. Forgot to mention, we have a dishwasher. I don't know if I did previously. But it's things like those that are hidden gems in this city. The washer and dryer mixture, along with a whole ass dishwasher. Well, there you have it, you guys. That is my Harlem, Manhattan, New York City room tour, along with a four bedroom, two bathroom apartment. If you have stayed this long, I am paying $1,000, including utilities. It will round up to around 1111 That fluctuates with utilities depending on how much you might use electricity or water. If you have ever wanted to move to Manhattan, New York City, or New York City in general, I definitely recommend that you move during this year. Since the pandemic has hit, the city is coming up on a wave, and what that means is that you can find really good deals for really cheap prices and just kind of go at it. Stay tuned for some more YouTube New York City filmmaking. Some neighbors.